Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, here we are back on, in the New Testament times. Uh, we are all citizens of Israel, the southern kingdom. We've just witnessed Jesus doing healing miracle after healing miracle, even on the Sabbath. And last Sunday he talked about that healing in terms of humility. And in the intervening portions of that uh, we could read during the week, he talked about humility even about heaven and how we approach heaven with humility. And the crowd are just eating this up. They love what he's doing. They love what he's saying. He's putting those Pharisees in their place because Pharisees are like the Pharisees are like the ant that likes to rule the whole family. Do you have one of those ants? <laughs> um, what, what, oh, I shouldn't say when we have guests here. Then. <laughs> Maybe they. Well, I'm, I'm getting in deeper, aren't I? Hmm. Going on quickly. Everything was going beautifully. And Jesus turns around and looks at the crowd. And he's done this before. You'd think the crowd would, would get, a, get used to it. But he turns around and he says, Unless you hate your father and mother, your wife, your children, your sister, your brother, you cannot be my disciple. Oh, just when everything was going well. Unless you give up all your possessions, you cannot be my disciple. Unless you carry your cross, you cannot be my disciple. You know, there we are. Things we're making us happy, and he's just made it impossible. Because are any of us willing to hate our family? I mean all the time, not just part of the time. <laughs> are any of us willing to give away all of our possessions? Are any of us willing to identify the cross that we're carrying so that we may carry it publicly? There lies the problem. You see, it, it isn't like we're not carrying crosses. We do carry crosses. And like I, I was telling the children, most most times the crosses we carry are the ones we made ourselves. Time for two more stories. There was this fellow who uh, was walking by a store window and saw it completely filled with root beer. And it it dawned on him, it was late at night, and in the alleyway that he'd just come out of, he had seen a cinder block. So he said, I could help myself. The store was closed, he couldn't go in by. So he's just going to help himself. He takes the cinder block, throws it against the window. The window is plexiglass. The cinder block Bounces back, hits him in the head, he falls down unconscious, and this is all caught on videotape. Unattended consequences. Crosses we bear. Okay, catechism students, which commandment was he attempting to break? Aha, oh, come on, catechism students. Thou shalt not steal. You knew that, didn't you? Second story. A teenager was admitted to the hospital with head wounds. 
fairly, fairly significant headwinds. And it took a little while to, to find out what happened, but they, the police finally got the story. This, this team was next to the railroad tracks, waiting for the train to come by to see how close he could get to the train without being hit. Stupidity is not a, a, a commandment. But there is a commandment that's involved here. What commandment? Oh, you're not going to do very well at the test. It's still a commandment about stealing. Body belongs to God. And how we treat our body is how we treat God's property. Unattended consequences. What Jesus is telling us in this and in other verses is that we don't need to carry the crosses that we're currently carrying. You see, he has a cross for us. And that cross is much better. It's not that we're going to escape carrying the cross. It's a question of which cross we're going to carry. Now, the crosses that you and I made for ourselves, the crosses that are based in anger or fear or anxiety, those kill. Those diminish us. Those make us stupid. The cross of Jesus Christ is the cross that brings love into our life have asked us to be faithful, to be generous, to be hopeful, to be helpful, to be loving. That gives life not only in this world, but in the next. Now, which cross would you rather have? The cross of Jesus or our own cross? That's why Jesus says, you cannot use your family as a foil against me. You cannot use your property to avoid me. You cannot even use life itself. Just love my cross. Love the cross of Jesus. And that cross will give you life.